Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, director of the Miami Space Transit Planetarium, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now this week's episode. Vega, the brightest and most wonderful star of the summer triangle. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered what direction we're headed? I mean, all the stars are flying through space at different speeds. And since our sun is also a star, it too is flying through space. So, what direction are we headed? Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for any clear night the next couple of weeks around 10 p.m. your local time. And if you look just west of overhead, you will see a very bright star. That bright star is the fifth brightest star we can see from Earth, and its name is Vega. And it is the brightest of the three bright stars that make up the summer triangle. In fact, it is so bright and obvious that when it's overhead, it is called the arc light of summer nights. And its blue-white color tells us that it is blue-white hot, which is much hotter than our own yellow-orange sun. In fact, compared to our sun's temperature of 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, Vega burns a fierce 17,000 degrees. Vega is also much larger than our sun. For while our sun is 865,000 miles wide, Vega is 2 million miles wide. And if we could place Vega and our sun side by side, Vega would shine 58 times brighter. Talk about getting a suntan in a hurry. But one of the really nifty things about Vega is that although it is far away from the North Star, Vega itself actually was the North Star 12,000 years ago. You see, due to a regular wobbling motion of our Earth, which is sort of like a top slowing down, our Earth's axis doesn't always point to the star we call our North Star. In fact, our Earth's axis traces a great circle on the sky. And approximately once every 26,000 years, it points to Vega. So 12,000 years ago, Vega was the North Star of our caveman ancestors. And it will once again be the North Star of our progeny 12,000 years in the future. And in case you haven't guessed it already, Vega is the star in whose direction our sun and all its planets, including our Earth, are headed. Indeed, our sun and Earth are racing at the incredible speed of 12 miles per second towards Vega. And even though Vega is only 27 light years away, nevertheless, at this speed, it would still take our sun almost 500 million years to reach Vega. So, some night soon, go out around 10 o'clock and look just west of overhead and see if you can feel in your mind's eye our Earth and all of us on it zooming through space toward Vega. And imagine at the same time that in only 12,000 years it will once again be our North Star. I'm Jack Horkheimer. Keep looking up. Be the first in your galaxy to own it. The brand new Stargazer home video, Make the Stars Your Own. Only $19.95 plus postage and handling. Order it now at 1-800-533-8321 and really make the stars your own. Jack Horkheimer's Stargazer is brought to you in part by Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, tools for discovering the planets, moon, and stars right from your own backyard. Orion has been serving stargazers since 1975.